Hey everybody, welcome back to Motorcycles and Pancakes. I am your resident pancake heathen, Ian, and today we are way up the Clackamas River exploring a brand new area. As you know, I have been trying for a while to connect some dots between the Goat Mountain area and the Malala Corridor and this area up in the Clackamas back to Goat Mountain and everything in between. And today I am trying to get from the south back to Goat Mountain I don't know if this is going to work out or not. I kind of loosely looked at a map, but today I am in an area where I was looking just a few days ago over this ridgeline to the next ridgeline when I was up way out past Goat Mountain. And I was just like, there's roads over there. I need to go there. And <laughs> that is exactly what I am doing. So join me on this little exploratory journey in the woods and through the gravel. And yes, we are still riding the Super T. I don't know. Maybe I should do a review on the Super Tenere and <laughs> see who, what's better, the Africa Twin or the Super T. Africa Twin all day. I am super happy you are here. And let's get riding, shall we? going up a really nice paved little country single lane road and just look at how breathtaking the woods are with the sun coming through but that's not really what that don't worry about that that's junk what I really wanted to show you is how rad that sign is <laughs> looks like the day of adventure is truly about to begin I honestly don't know anything about this area. One of the things about me is I kind of like to glance at the map just to kind of figure out loosely where I'm going. Wow, look at the woods. Squirrel moment. Uh, loosely where I'm going, but um, I like to just kind of get up here and just go, you know, kind of make up my own mind and explore and see what's going on and check out the roads all in time here pretty freaking rad so far well it's been about two miles or so since we spoke last and i gotta tell you every time you turn the gopro off something spectacular happens you know <laughs> i was just like just gonna ride a little bit see what's up here and I turn this corner behind me to this little tiny straightaway and right at that log there's actually a mama deer grazing right there and I, I first I just thought it was just just one and then she ran off into the woods here and I didn't see that there's a little baby in the little ditch that followed mommy and they're back over there somewhere right now man I wish I had the camera on you know, that's one of the things that I just love about adventure riding, you know? Just, uh, you're in the woods, you're in the elements, you know, and you just see so much nature, you know? You, you see the woods, the trees, the water, you see the wind, how it moves the trees around and how the, they just kind of cascade and dance back and forth. And you see so much animals out here. You know, you're constantly seeing deer, and seeing bear, cougar, which <laughs> that's, I would rather see a bear than a cougar, honestly. And, uh, I don't know. It's something you don't get at home, and it's something that, uh, well, for lack of a better term, it absolutely warms my soul. absolutely freaking lootly Sometimes, you'll see like maybe the road doesn't actually go through right like maybe you zoom in on the map and it looks like the road actually ends but once you get there now it just goes from a little road to a single or double track and then leads in with another road and i found several of those up in this area and if there's one up here at the end Boy, howdy, we're in business. Boy, there's been a, a lot 
lot of just down trees since we last chatted. You can tell there's been a pretty good windstorm up here over the winter. Well, we had multiple pretty good windstorms throughout the winter. Ooh, did that log crossing like a boss. Did you see that? That was amazing. Oof. Gotta be careful of stuff on the inside of the apex. Wow, look at this. Oh, that hillside came down. Oh. Wow, that looked uh, pretty cool. The Vladimir's hanging out. That's always dumb. Well, we're getting on top of this ridge. I don't, oh, well, yeah, okay. Maybe there's a little more ahead of me. <laughs> I thought that was on top. I was like, oh, I don't see anything. It looks pretty flat up here. And then you see the rest of the ridge up here. Yeah, yeah. Boy, I'm stoked to be out today. I really am hoping that I can connect a couple dots here. We'll see. I, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Warehousers everywhere and you think you got something and then BAM! A gate! Pretty fantastic up here though so far today. Ding dong, ding ding dong. getting to the top of this ridge and uh, I'll check my elevation here in a minute but boy this is sneaking a, a, some spectacular views right here through the old uh, trees <gasps> oh my lord would you look in there hello Mount Jefferson how the heck are you doing Oh, I love that mountain. That is my favorite Cascade Mountain. Been fortunate enough, as I've said on a, another video, to stand on top of that thing. Holy moly, she's beautiful. How do people not like the woods? I don't understand. I just don't understand. <laughs> The woods bring so much peace and calm and happiness. It's just overwhelming. I don't know, an overwhelming sensation of just peace. It just, I don't know how else to say it. It's just to me. such a happy place. Boy, that's an old road right there. Absolutely. Okay, well, um, as you can see, I'm at a bit of a crossroads here. <laughs> so I'm going to check my map, see which way I... Would, I ooh, well, I'll just turn it off that way. I'm going to check the map, and uh, we'll be back. Well, I made the right turn, not the left. As I know, earlier that said, you always go left. But with a specific uh, interest, I needed to go right. Now, with that being said, I am definitely coming back and going left because there was another point of interest that I would like to travel to and see. Um, it's actually a waypoint that I marked of a, a place I want to go. And in fact, that's what the waypoint says. Go here, stupid. <laughs> oh, I gotta love it. I mean, oh man. Like, seriously, look at that view. Holy moly. Like, serious, Mount Jefferson, what is up? This gives me, like, a whole new perspective because I actually want to also get on top of those ridges over there. So I want to take a moment to kind of maybe set some waypoints of somewhere else to go at a, another time, but... Dear Lord, look up Jefferson, just, like, hey, what's going on? I hope you're enjoying your ride. And I'm like, hey, Jeff, I'm doing an amazing time out here. I'm really enjoying my ride, so thanks. Remember that one time we were up there and I was belaying Papa Cakes down and he fell and it was kind of funny? That's a whole story in itself. But yeah, I, uh, <laughs> honestly, honestly, I'll tell that story here in a minute.
we're starting to make our way back south a little bit to where the Riverside burn was going on. And uh, we're getting a little sneak peek of, wait for it, Mount Hood. My, uh, my guiding mountain when I'm out on my long trips and out trucking and things. That is my beacon that I know that I am, I am home. When I can see Mount Hood, I just, everything inside me changes and I'm like, I am home. What? Love that mountain. Second favorite. Something about Jeff though, that's my favorite. I still owe you a story about my dad falling on that, uh, on that mountain, Mount Jefferson. Okay, friends, friends, okay. So if you can see that mountain straight, straight across from me, that is an area I am trying to connect from here over to there. That is the middle section of the Goat Mountain area that I've been trying to connect. And from the other ridge line, about twice this distance from Goat Mountain, that is what I see. That ridge line with the little tabletop, because it reminds me on the left side how it goes up on the top, it reminds me of Mount Adams. It goes up, you got the lunch counter, the fall summit, and then there's a whole nother mountain up there. And that's, that reminded me of that on the other side. So that has to be it. So we're trying to get essentially over there. So maybe this road will loop around these canyons on the top, maybe? I don't know, we're starting to go down, but, ooh, there's a road right over there. There's a road right over there, that's a good sign. That is a good sign. Yep, yep, yep. I don't know if you can, see. Nah, you're not gonna see it through the trees here. Ta-da, it's there, I promise you. I think I made a good decision coming out this road. I do, I do. Man, I'm by myself and I just want to freaking haul down this thing, but uh, but uh, you know, probably not a good idea. And that's just the landing. Ooh, we have a major wah -wah. holy mo wah -wah. whoa, that was really low, actually. This is getting me heading in the right direction, but the road is getting kind of small. You know, there's a reason I played the drums instead of singing. Because I can go boom, ba da ba ba doom, ba doom, ba pretty darn good, but I can't go <laughs> to save my life. So, ooh, another little, uh, little slide area over here. Boy, howdy, I am tickling the ridge lines that I wanted to get over to. But the road has been getting, well, a little narrower, a little less traveled, and a lot more overgrown. Oh, I'm still a solid ridge line away from where I want to go. As I can see the top of the hill over there, but I've got this entire ridge in between where I'm trying to go and where I'd be at. So, boy, whoo. I don't think, oh, wow, look how beautiful that is. Look at through the burn. I don't, the camera's not gonna do it justice. Maybe I'm, maybe the road's gonna swing there. Look how green it is on the floor of the of the ground of the forest. Oh my lord, that's beautiful. What a color contrast between the burn and that lush green. Well, another dead end. You can see that the, uh, the road that I want to do goes off to my left and goes up and around. That dark part behind these trees is exactly where I'm trying to go. I am like, as the crow flies, maybe a mile away, two miles tops, but I think it's probably about a mile. Ah, <sighs> dang it. I literally am disappointed. Literally am disappointed. 
But in true Ian fashion, I gotta get over here and look at it because uh, maybe I could bring somebody back and we can get around it and still explore that road. There's no reason to have these areas closed. So disappointed. I was getting excited. I was like, no way, no way. Trying to get up there for a while. And now this. I mean, this is super rideable. Well, just like that, everybody, we got skunked yet again. That was just an epic ride going up that road today, though. I do not have any regrets about riding up that road. It was absolutely fantastic. That's right. Coming back down, we went up by uh, another campground, another road that we thought we might be able to sneak around and get to that backside of the ridge where we actually had to turn around from. But as you can see, there was a big excavator parked in the middle of the road, and well, the road was gone. So uh, I didn't even mess around, turned around, and came back down here to show you this gate. This is the gate for the end-all be-all. This is the area that we are hoping will open up here sooner than later. And it is kind of the key of the exploration, I think. I think we can connect all these areas together once this road opens up, I hope. And once it does, I will be up here ecstatic and you'll be joining me for the ride. Anyways, friends, I really appreciate you tagging along today. I greatly appreciate each and every one of you. Remember to hit the like, subscribe button, follow along, tell all your friends about it, and remember, go down and leave the word fantastic down below in the comments section. I greatly appreciate it. And remember, friends, until next time, ride safe and eat more pancakes. Wait for it. Wait for it. Wait for it. Okay, bye. Just like that, I am home safe and sound, and I offer to you guys the Papa Cakes falling on Mount Jefferson story. <laughs> well, it was a beautiful summer day, kind of like the day was out today. It was a little bit warm, and if you know anything about climbing mountains, uh, you start really early, so when you're on your ascent, you have really good frozen or really firm good snow to go up. It took us a little bit longer than I think we thought it was going to be. We had a friend of mine tagging along with us, and when we came back, the snow was kind of loosening up a little bit. So Papa Cakes decided, hey, I'm going to go ahead and put you guys on belay. So we had harnesses on, and we connected the ropes, and he stood up at the top, and he lowered my buddy down first the ways, and then over to where the trails were in the rock where it was safe. So he got belayed down, and he walked over, and undid the rope, Pop Cakes pulled it up, hooked me on the rope, and I went down. And the whole thing was, I'm gonna go down, be on the other side of my buddy, and put in a good belay, and be ready for him to come down. So I think, I don't remember if I had snow anchors in or not. I might have or I might not have. I'm not sure at this point, but I remember I was sitting down, and I remember Papa Cakes up there saying, on belay, and I was like, on belay, and he was climbing, and I said, climb on, you know. So we, we did all that, and he started coming down, and so I got my buddy literally, like, right here. And so Papa Cakes is coming down, so the rope is coming off this side of me up to him coming down this glacier, and he's up there a little ways, several hundred feet, and uh, I'm taking the rope and I have all my belay stuff on through the harness and through the figure eight and everything. So I'm pulling the slack through and going this way. And the belay, if you don't know, you can stop the rope if somebody ends up falling and they end up not going all the way to, you know, the ground, essentially off the mountain. So he's walking and I'm just doing my belay and I'm kind of watching the rope a little bit and I'm kind of talking to my buddy over here and you got a good tension on the rope and everything's going really good and I'm just talking and all of a sudden I'm like, wow, there's a lot of slack really, really fast. And I hear my dad say, I'm falling. And so I look over my shoulder and I'm trying to find, still trying to pull the slack out. Here comes Papa Cakes down the glacier, <laughs> sliding right off to my side. And so I see he's going, lock it up and bam, it pulls him and it ended up I think the rope got wrapped around by one of his crampons or his feet. So he ended up 
hit him, the, the rope ended up getting taut and then flipped him around. So he was head first downhill. <laughs> the man, the myth, the legend fell on a very easy uh, descent off the mountain. But, you know, things happen to the best of us. Uh, he is in a crazy experienced mountaineer. Uh, has been all over the place climbing some of the, the bigger peaks and uh, super proud of that guy. Super amazing stories. Hit him up on Instagram. Tell him you want to hear some more stories. But uh, again, thanks for coming on this journey with me and uh, eat more coffee.